So I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of working with folders in Google Drive just so that you'd be able to access all the WPC 101 resources that I'm going to be posting throughout the semester. So in the email that I have just sent, um, there is a link to take you to this main at WPC 101 resources. Now, if you're already logged in to your ASU account through your browser, you may just be taken directly to this page. However, if you're not logged in, you may be taken to a Google login page. And a lot of times people get confused with this um, because it doesn't look like the standard ASU login page. And so they say, you know, well, I, I don't have a Gmail account or I don't have a Google account, I have an ASU account. Uh, there is an easy way to bypass that or sort of work with this uh, login screen, and that's just in the email box. Just list your ASU right at asu.edu email address, leave the password blank, and then click uh, sign in. I'm going to uncheck stay signed in just for the moment for this demo. And if you do that, then it should take you to the standard ASU login page and that's where you can enter your user ID and your password and click sign in and then it will take you directly to this page. Um, so this is the main uh, resources page. What you will most likely want to look at first is going to be in this first folder, the App Facilitator Documents. But before you click there, uh, to make this a little bit easier for you to access, instead of having to hold on to that email that I'm sending, you can add this large folder to your Google Drive. And once you add it to the Google Drive, it's a lot more accessible through my ASU. So I'm going to click Add to Drive, and then it'll tell you that it's added, and then I'm going to open it in Drive. And what this is going to do is to take you into your Google Drive. You'll see right here on the side that it lists that folder, and if I click it, and give it a second to sort of to, to load. Oh, I'm already in it. Um, you'll see all of the uh, different folders here, uh, both the facilitator documents, which I'm going to walk you through, and then several other more topic-specific folders that as the students produce materials or I find materials, I can push those materials to you very easily through Google Drive. Um, let's go inside the app facilitator documents. These are the ones you're probably concerned with right now. Uh, one of those is going to be a syllabi by day. Um, this is going to be a folder that has the word files for each of the, the five days of the week. So you have seen the Thursday schedule, but if you're teaching on a Wednesday, you want those dates you know, to, to line up with your Wednesday class time. So here's where you can download this, um, this file. Very, very easy. Um, you can click it and It'll sort of show it loading, and here down in the bottom, uh, you can download it as a Word document. And I'll just sort of walk you through that. Um, and then wherever you know you want to download it, I'm using a Mac and in Safari, so it looks a little bit different than for you. Um, you can also, if you wanted to just view it in Google, Google Drive, don't necessarily need to work with it. You can always just open it um, in case you're perusing it to, to see if you actually want to use it. So it's really up to you. Very, very simple. Works just like a folder. It just happens to be um, in a different location than the P drive, which is going to make it easier for me to push it to students who don't necessarily have access to that P drive. But if you can work with the P drive, you can absolutely work with Google Drive. So I'm going to go back. Um, if you are looking at this in sort of the, the snapshot view, you just hit the escape button and it'll take you back. Really super simple. Um, and then you can see all the navigation here along the right hand side for the main folder and then the other folders. Um, I've also uploaded all the training PowerPoints um, for you. I'm going to post that very last one as well. So if you want to go back and look at those, pull any of the materials from there, you know, just like you would do with the Word document, you can click it, it'll give you sort of a preview, and then if you want to download it or open it, you can do that. So it takes a little bit longer to load. You can also X out of it right here if you can't hit escape. Going back into the facilitator documents, a couple of other pieces that you may be interested in. Uh, the facilitator to-dos I handed out in the last training. Um, this is set up not as a Word file, but just as a typed Google Doc. So if there's anything else that I think of, I can go in and, and add that information for you. Um, but you have the printed one, and I haven't added anything yet to that. 
there's also a weekly talking points and you saw some of these uh, previously with uh, weeks three, four, and five, but this is the full 15 week semester. All of the items that I would think that you would want to discuss that week, and then also that little narrative, that storyline. I've also noted on this particular document, um, for those of you who may be teaching a Monday or a Tuesday class, when um, you know what you may be able to do to supplement that. Um, if you're not teaching a class but you still want to cover that material, um, some of the, the options that, that we'll have available for you. So uh, students will be presenting uh, and preparing lesson plans for me in the WPC 394 Facilitator Seminar, but also between the weekly Tuesday meetings, either for the advisor facilitators or the honors and academy facilitators, you can also exchange materials that way. Um, I will push all of the materials to you through this Google Drive uh, folder because I think it's the easiest place to find all that material. There's also another thing that I really, really, really like about Google Docs and that is it, it sort of works with the, the idea that Google is infinite search searching. Um, so if I knew that I wanted to find something related to resumes, I can type resume here in the top and it will search my drive for anything related to resumes. Um, and so anything that's going to be in any of these folders, you can just get a sense of what those are. So it's everything from um, rubrics that might be associated with that assignment. Um, Jill Harthoon has actually uploaded, is going to be uploading some freshman resumes for you into this location so you could find those as well. So if you ever get lost and can't remember where it is, but you remember what it's called, use the search bar at the top and just imagine it's like Google for this, this resource drive that we have set up for WPC 101. We'll go right back into that facilitator documents just to make sure. Um, two other things that a, a couple people had asked about. One was the Rate Your Eight Traits handout um, that is mentioned as something on the, the first day of class and also in that first reflection. It is here. Uh, for you as a PDF if you want to take a look at that. Um, you're welcome to print your own copies and have those ready. Um, however, an additional document that we're going to have the students fill out on the first day of class is going to be the honor code. Um, and we're working to try and get this um, into a two page, in two per page instead of a, a one per page printout so that we can save a little bit of paper and a little bit of bulk. Um, in our storage. Uh, there will be more information forthcoming um, about that as we get closer to the beginning of the semester, but if you want to take a look at those documents um, and print them out for yourself to read them, you absolutely can. So that's all I have for today's video um, regarding Google Docs and Google Drive. Hopefully this will uh, be a great way for you to get materials from me and share materials with other people. Um, I'll definitely address these in our first uh, meeting on that Tuesday after classes begin. So if anybody has questions about working with it, uh, you can bring them to the meeting or you can always shoot me an email. Thanks so much.